Okay, so let's look at some of the differences between selenium versus the protector, right? So selenium, if you have worked with any web application or any front-end application, selenium supports all types of web applications. It is built for web applications, right? So it's widely used across the testing community and also a lot of companies are dependent on selenium to automate their web applications. But when it comes specifically for Angular or AngularJS applications, Protector is the tool, right? It's anyways built on top of the Selenium web driver, so it has already got those advantages. So you can use the Selenium web driver API to also automate non-AngularJS applications, right? So you can use it both uh, for Angular applications and also for non-Angular applications, right? So that's one advantage for Protector. Coming to languages, Selenium widely supports almost all the languages uh, available, like C Sharp, uh, .NET, Perl, PHP, JavaScript, Ruby, Python, Java. So almost any language you want to write uh, your scripts in, Selenium provides the API for that. Now Protector, um, it supports mainly JavaScript and TypeScript. Now TypeScript is anyways built on top of JavaScript, right? So the internal code is still JavaScript, but TypeScript provides a wrapper uh, so that you can easily write those test scripts when you are using TypeScript, okay? Now, um, coming to synchronization or wait, right? So whenever we automate web applications, there is always an issue with the synchronization, right? Uh, sometimes the application responds very fast, sometimes it responds very slow. So your script should be able to handle that. Otherwise your scripts will start failing, right? So synchronization is a big um, kind of challenge whenever you are working with applications. So in Selenium, you can handle that using the different weights, weight methods, but in Protector, you don't need to put any kind of weight mechanism in order to support synchronization, right? It already provides that automatically. So that's the biggest advantage of Productive when it comes to AngularJS applications. It automatically uh, supports automatic weight, right? Coming to uh, locators. So in Selenium, we know there are the common locator strategies like ID, name, CSS, XPath, link text, right? So there are so many. And these are the common HTML elements which are used in web applications. So you can use this locator strategies when you are working with Selenium. But when it comes to uh, Angular JS applications, right, it uses some specific web elements. And using the normal Selenium web driver API, you cannot you cannot automate these web elements because there is no way to handle these web elements like the ng model, ng repeater, or ng binding there is no way to uh, handle these kind of HTML elements in the API. So that's where Protector comes in, right? It provides you with these locator strategies which can handle this additional web elements which are present in AngularJS applications. Apart from them, uh, there is also some custom locators which are present, then uh, there's options, button text, right? So there's so many which we'll see when you are working with Protector, okay? Coming to frameworks. Now, Selenium has a wide presence across the test frameworks. So you have heard about NUnit, which is basically for .NET um, testing, like .NET applications. Then for Java, we use JUnit, TestNG, right? For Python, we, we use PyTest or PyUnit. For JavaScript, there is WebDriver.js, WebDriver.io, okay? So there are so many test frameworks which are supported by Selenium. For Protector, uh, it supports Jasmine, uh, Mocha, and Cucumber, right? So Jasmine is the default framework. Mostly all these are um, based on the BDD frameworks, right? So you can write your test scripts in the form of uh, BDD language. So internally it uses Jasmine, but you can also use Mocha or Cucumber uh, based on your choice. The other uh, major difference between Selenium and Protector is Selenium sometimes the execution is a little slower, uh, depending on what kind of application you are working with. But Protector is very fast compared to, if you compare it with Selenium, Protector scripts run uh, really fast, okay? Then um, 
the large difference is like uh, Protractor has got more stable scripts, right? And Selenium, sometimes it may not be uh, so stable. And there's a lot of maintenance which goes on um, when you work with Selenium automation. But Protractor, it doesn't require so much of maintenance. Like the scripts are more stable. Uh, you don't need to include any kind of different mechanism to uh, synchronize your application with your scripts. So that comes in handy when you work with Protector. So these are the basic differences between Selenium and Protector. This will give you an idea when you should be using Selenium and when you should be using Protector, right? What are the advantages? So we have already seen that. So in the next section, I'm going to show um, how we can set up Protector, right? On a particular operating system. So you can follow it for any any operating system based based on your choice but we'll see uh, how you can set it up on a specific operating system like windows okay